Okay. Uh, this is problem eight from the second midterm of physics 106 from 2024. So here we have a wire that carries some current I naught. And below this is a square loop. I'll try to draw this as a square, which has a distance B from the wire, and one of its sides is 2B. So this is not the scale, this should be a little bit smaller, but um, I hope that's okay. This carries a current I, this direction, in clockwise direction. There is our gravity, this G, 9.8 meters per second square, supposedly. The loop here is a clockwise current I, which has been adjusted so that the net force exerted on the loop by the horizontal wire allows it to remain suspended at rest in this uh, position. So this mass is also given, that's mass is M. What is the magnitude of the current I that must flow in the square loop to keep it at rest? So what's the required I for suspension? Okay. So now why is this suspended? Because the, this current is going to create some, uh, is going to create some magnetic field. That magnetic field is going to apply some force on this loop. That force is supposedly opposite direction to gravity. If they are exa exactly equal to each other, then it's just going to be suspended. Now, how can we do this? So this is like a piece of current that's in the same direction. There's an attraction over here. There is a repulsion over there. So the current is going this way. These are opposites. So there's, they're going to repel. These guys, they are going to feel some force, but uh, they're going to cancel each other. But uh, let's, let's first uh, go through this. Now, the magnetic field due to I zero is given by the right-hand rule. So over here in this region, it's going to be into the chalkboard. Okay. It's not uniform, but it's time independent. And for a given length, it is actually uniform, but it actually gets stronger as you move closer. So the magnetic field strength is going to be uh, mu naught over two pi I over R. And so it actually decreases as you move away from this current carrying wire. Now, what will be the force on this one? Well, that's easy. Actually, we can just, you know, throw that. This is going to be attractive. This is going to be repulsive. So let's call this F1 and F2. This one, so the current is going this way. Uh, the, it's given by the right-hand rule. It's to the right. Let's call this F3. And this is to the left because the current is going up. The force is given this way. F4 and F3 and F4 are going to completely cancel each other because for each piece, there's a corresponding piece on the other side that's going to carry an equal and opposite force. So the sum of these forces are going to cancel each other. I don't need to calculate this. I only need to calculate F1 and F2. So F1 is going to be against gravity. F2 is going to help gravity. So in the end, what's going to happen is F1 is equal to mg plus F2. And these are just the magnitudes now I'm writing here. So let's write those magnitudes. F1 uh, is going to be, uh, to, so the length times the current times the magnetic field. So uh, the length is 2B times the current is I times the magnetic field is mu naught over 2 pi I zero over B. Okay, so this is equal to mg plus uh, it's the same thing, 2B, I, but now the magnetic field is different, mu naught over 2 pi, I zero over 3B. This is of distance 3B away. Okay? And these are supposedly equal to each other. Well, they could be. I can uh, you know, move this to the other side, I make the subtraction. So this becomes 6 over 3B, I, I take off, well, I'll just multiply this by. Two. So it is 4B uh, I mu naught I zero over 2 pi 3B. Right, if I multiply this by 3 and then take off 2, yeah, this is, I think, correct, is equal to mg. And now there are some cancellations. Bs go away. This 2 goes away. I have this 3 here, but I is going to be okay, um, mg uh, 3 pi over mu naught 
why not? Let's see if we have something like this. No, there is a, oh, there, there's a two here. Yeah, I forgot. And yeah, this is actually in one of the answer keys. Again, you have to be careful about these numerical factors. I'm very careless, but unfortunately, you do not have the luxury to do so. Okay? But this is your answer.